if you're anything like me, you're patiently waiting for fall. She called and told her she's five minutes away, and so we're ready for her arrival. But in the meantime, we still need to look fabulous in this transitional weather. So in this video, I'm going to share some tips with you on how to transition from summer to fall. So I'm going to give you some alpha formulas, some alpha inspiration, so stay tuned. So this first look is my favorite. This is my favorite look of the whole video. I love how we have this, I love how we have this summer dress paired with fall accessories. And this was helps us transition, this look transition into fall. This is a blue maxi dress from Banner Republic. I bought it this summer. And I just love the way this dress flows. It's 100% silk. So I have it paired with a camel vegan suede vest from Banana Republic Factory. And this is a good, this is quality vegan suede. And it just looks so good. This color combination of the blue that people would typically associate with summer and this camel that is trans-seasonal so we can see it in extra neutral. So it can be worn in any season. I just love it. It's like the, it's A1. I just love the way it looks. Knee high cowgirl boots which I bought last year from Kato. What was the year before last? Anyway, I bought them previously. My husband is a country music fan. Country is his favorite genre. And so I believe it was last year, Luke Bryan came to Charlotte and we went to a concert of his. So I'm gonna show you some clips of my husband and I and my outfit. So I've had these boots. And even though the Western vibe is not really my style, I really just bought these boots for the concert, but I've decided to wear them other places because I actually like them. So it just so happens to work out for me that it's on trend this season, but I wear what I want to wear and these boots were going to get worn because I don't buy things to wear in just one place. <laughs> Comment down below if you feel the whole idea of if you buy something for like a certain event that you want to wear in other areas in your life. What makes this outfit to me so amazing, aside from the color combo, is also the variety of textures. When you have a mix of textures, to me that equals a more detailed look, and I think that the devil is in the details. So in this look, we have silk from the blue dress. We have the vegan suede, and then we also have the leather boots. And not only do the boots, are they nice and nice knee-high boots, but they also have the fringe. So the fringe adds something to it as well. I just like this whole look. So think about pairing your summer dress with some fall accessories. And this could be one outfit formula for you going into transitioning into fall. I enjoy a good cohort set. It's one of the ways to look effortlessly stylish. So there are some cohort sets that I have specifically that I'll wear in the summer that I don't really use transitioning into fall until this one. So this is a 100% striped cotton cohort set from Pretty Little Things. This is actually the only item from Pretty Little Things that I have, but it's cotton. And so I decided to pair it with this 100% wool vest. Can we get a moment for the vest? Okay, I love this vest. The color. It's cozy, the vest has pockets, and I love the shawl. The shawl just adds, like this collar, the shawl collar just adds to the drama of this vest. You instantly put this on on just about any outfit and we've elevated it, we brought it up a notch. So we have this wool vest, and then we have these cream loafers, these cream leather loafers from Tory Burch. So now we're adding, again, as you can see, different textures. We have the cotton, we have the leather and the shoes, and we have the wool. So you, if you want to, if it gets warmer, because usually in this transition period, it's warmer in the afternoon, I can easily take the vest off and I still have a fabulous outfit. I'm still gonna look put together and amazing. <laughs> That's what matters. We have this cognac coach purse. I love this color. And what I love about this purse is that my grandmother actually gave this to me. So my husband and I went to go check up on my grandparents last week. And she's been getting rid of some things in her closet. She said she's trying to downsize. So I'm like, okay. So she gave me this purse. And so I love that this is something special that I would have to think about her 
every time I wear it, I think about my grandmother. So for me, that's very special. So again, the memories with the outfit, the different textures, this just all around equals an amazing transitional outfit. So think about how to take something that you normally wear in the summer and add some fall elements so that you're transitioning into the fall season. If you're enjoying this video so far and refining your personal style and building a wardrobe that aligns with your style and your lifestyle, something that is important to you, then make sure you subscribe, become a member of this community, the Stylets, and have some fun with us because we're actually a fun group. <laughs> so I hope that you subscribe so this next outfit I'm styling a linen dress with some fall accessories so this outfit is this dress is from dish it's hundred percent linen and I have it paired with the most sumptuous cardigan I love this sagey green cardigan oh I've had this again for some years I love to bring this out when it starts getting cooler so I have this cardigan again we have the loafers and then we have this suede banana republic bag this bag is really old i don't remember the exact year that i bought it but i looked on my google photos and if i can if it's if i still have a picture i will screenshot it and show you just how long ago i've had it but i've had this suede bag for so long again when this time the season comes up the fall season i'll bring it out i'm ready to bring out the suede items <laughs> so I love this bag I love this color combination the ivory the green the brown color and again the mix of textures the um, linen the knit it's a wool knit a wool knit and then this suede and then the leather in the shoes this just chef's kiss the color combination the variety of fiber content so taking the fiber content that you will wear in the summertime and pairing it with some fall fiber contents and the wool and then the suede is what really makes this you fit the sweet spot with this outfit and the great thing is that again this is the kind of time period where in many of our outfits I mean many of the places that we live especially here in the United States when it's this type of fall weather and we're transitioning into fall it's hot in the afternoon it'll be cool when we wake up and in the afternoon is blazing so you can easily take your cardigan off and you'll still be comfortable but the, the fact that the bag is suede you can still show that you're really getting into you're you're ready for fall you're a girl who's ready to you're ready for the olympics for the fall and winter season are fashion olympics for us fashion girlies so <laughs> you're showing everybody you're putting everybody on notice that you're ready for the fall <laughs> so I love that and also for me when the closed toe shoes come out that's how you know that fall is on the horizon because in the summer I like to have my shoes I like to have my toes out and let them breathe but now that it's starting to get cool we can have them we're gonna start having them enclosed and so that's how I know that fall is on the horizon that they one of the reasons why fall is their favorite season is the layering so these next two outfits are showing the beginnings of layering. Of course, once we get into the fall, we'll get deeper into it. So this outfit on the left, I have on some Zara knit pants. They're so comfortable. I can't remember the material because this is before I was into or really cared about the fiber content that I wear. But this is um, some pants from Zara, a strapless Banana Republic top. I love this as well as a nice detail on the right side of the top we have on some loafers and then the cardigan so this is a long gray cardigan from target i've had it for years i love that it has pockets this could be called a cardigan or a duster but either way i like the color combination the ivory then um, brown knit and the gray so good now if i get hot i can easily take the cardigan off but i'm still giving fall because i have the knit pants on so I love that look. That's like a minor layer when you're just putting a cardigan on, which is what we did for many of these outfits. Now, this outfit on the right, I, to be honest with you guys, this outfit is not really, it's something off about this outfit. I think it might be the shoes, but I'm not completely positive. But I still decided to show this outfit because it shows the layering going into fall that I wanted to show. So this is a chocolate jersey 
turtleneck from Amazon. It's a bodysuit and it's so comfortable. And I have it paired with this Banana Republic navy top. What I like about this top is this is one of those tops that's a basic but not your typical basic. Banana Republic has a lot of tops like that. Essentials that are, have a little extra detail that take it to another level. So check Banana Republic out. So this is a one shoulder top. And so if you put whatever turtleneck you put underneath this, or whatever shirt you put underneath this, you can see on this side instead of seeing skin. And so I love that. That's a perfect way to layer. So if you have pieces like this strapless top, or you have pieces that are, even what I'm wearing now, this sweater, it's a sleeveless sweater, you can easily add something underneath, whether it be a turtleneck or whether it be a white button down shirt. Any of these things, and this is just another element of layering. So we started out layering, and as we get into the fall, we're going to get further into layering. In a couple of weeks, I'm going to do a video that's about layering and how we can layer for this fall season. So if that's something you're into, make sure you subscribe so you can check out that future video. But in the meantime, if you're like me, you also are really getting into your fall wardrobe planning and you still have a little bit of things that you need to get together before you can feel like a little bit prepared, more prepared for fall. So if that's you, then watch my previous video. This video is all about how to go plan your wardrobe for fall. I'll see you over there.